I like to think the secret to our success is we see a problem and we fix it. Gentlemen, when it comes to dust in your pro shop, you have a serious problem. You're constantly making a fine sheetrock powdery like dust that's flying all around your building. The cleanest pro shop I've ever been in in my life belonged to a Joe Moore out of Newport News, Virginia. Joe had a saying, listen to this, once the flower flies, you are flucked. Okay? What we're going to do is we're going to build a system that never allows the flower to fly in your pro shop. This is the way we're going to do it. The first problem you have, when you turn your vacuum on, there's a plume of dust that flies away from it. The way we make that go away is we're never going to let dirt reach that vacuum. Your vacuum is going to pull clean air out of this catch can, pull it into the vacuum. If dirt never reaches it, it can't cast it off. Secondarily, you lose suction. Okay, the way we're going to solve that problem, here you've got downline residues coming out of your pro shop, wherever you've got this set up, it flows into the catch can. Once again, the vacuum pulls the clean air out. If dirt never reaches the vacuum, the power head never loses efficiency. This baby is sucking maximum power all the time, out, gone, over, said, and done with. Always use the drill shield in a closed position when plug cutting. Always use the drill shield in an open position when drilling a ball. Always use a vacuum line and ventilation hood anytime you bevel sand. Just so you can see how everything works, we're going to plug everything off. We're going to go back to the ventilation hood by itself, and I'm going to bevel sand this so you can actually see how this hood is actually working. Once again, you can see how this hood is just taking every bit of the dust right into the hood and away from your shop. The fastest way to get this done for your pro shop is we need a picture, a pencil drawing looking down on the top of what your pro shop looks like. Here's an example. Uh, here we're showing a couple walls, a counter that comes across like this here, and a drill press sitting there. Decisions that need to be made. Where are we going to place the vacuum? Well, in this case, we're going to place the vacuum out of the building. And, the, and we're going to place the catch can alongside the drill press. We're going to place the ventilation hood right here. With that information, we can take and plumb your pro shop, turn it up at a 45 degree angle, and let you see what's happening. Here we've got the vacuum out of the room, the clean air comes out of the catch can and flows into the vacuum. That takes care of one end of the battle. Secondarily, we're going to be collecting dirt from the ventilation hood, these lines here, and at the drill press. That flows into the catch can. With this, a picture of your shop like this, at no additional charge, we can build a picture, 45 it, let it turn up at an angle, and let you see exactly how to do it. You're going to place T's, 90's, and couplings where you need, connect them with pipe, and you get everything you need with this unit, the hoses, you plug everything in, and it's over, said, and done with. And you'll be off and running. A dust-free environment for your pro shop. Wow.